It's kind of like being a quarterback for a football team. The quarterback does not go into the game on Sunday, and when the defense is running at them, they don't then study the playbook and figure out where to throw the ball. No, they spend all week learning the plays and knowing exactly where to go and when. Hello, it's Michael Halper with Sales Scripter. In this video, we're going to talk about how to role play objections. And the first step in role playing your sales objections is first you want to create an objections list of the objections that you should role play and become prepared for. And after you have that list, then you probably want to create responses to those objections. And then there's a few options you have for how to practice and role play those objections. And these three things are what we're going to talk about in this video. And starting with the first one of creating an objections list or a list of objections that you can anticipate when you're working as a salesperson. And the good news is, is that I'm going to give you the bulk of them right here because us salespeople face really the same objections again and again. And some of the most common objections that we all all face are I'm busy right now I'm not interested we don't have any budget or we don't have any money right now to purchase what you're selling we already use someone for that we're not looking at making any changes right now just send me your information you're too expensive call me back in X months or let me think about it and so that short list right there is what we would refer to as common objections that we all face regardless of what you sell. Now you can probably add another five to 10 objections to that list that are specific to your industry. So what I would recommend you do when you try to figure out how best to role play your objections is take that list and then add any objections that are specific to your particular situation to that list and then you have your list of objections that you need to prepare for. And the next step in becoming prepared is you want to create responses to each of those objections. Now when you you take that list and you start thinking about well how am I going to respond to all these fairly difficult situations that come up the good news is is that we have a process that you can use for creating your objection responses and what our process does is that it uses the building blocks that we help you to create when you create your sales message and when you go through our process to create your sales message and create your individual building blocks you can use a lot of those building blocks for objection responses and to demonstrate how this works, if you organize those objection responses, let's say into a cold call script, certainly when you're cold calling, you're definitely gonna run into objections on almost every cold call. And the way that our objection handling methodology works is that when you get an objection, a lot of times you can deflect in your response to a different building block. For example, these four different objections when they come up on a cold call, we can deflect back to our pain questions building block. So if the prospect says, we're not making any changes right now, oh, yeah, I understand. Uh, if I could ask you real quick, how difficult is it to teach reps everything they need to know to say when they're selling and talking to prospects? So what I did there, my objection response to that objection was deflecting back to the pain questions building block and asking a pain question. Those same objections you can deflect to your current state questions. So if the prospect says we already use someone for that, oh, I understand. Uh, uh, let me ask you real quick, uh, who are you guys using? How long have you been working with them? Do you provide sales training to your sales staff? And what I did there is I used the current state building block as an objection response to that objection by asking a current state question. And so this objection handling methodology and a lot of objection responses are all explained in another video that you can watch if you go to our playlist, the smart sales system, sell smarter, not harder. And the module is getting around sales objections that will go through our full objection handling methodology and provide you all of the different ways that you can respond to the list of objections that I gave to you at the beginning of this video. So be sure to check that out and I'll put a link in the description. All right, so you have your list of objections to prepare for, you have your responses that you should say. Now what you need to do is practice so that when those objections come up, you don't have to think of what to say. You know really quickly what to say and how to respond. It's kind of like being a quarterback for a football team. The quarterback does not go into the game on Sunday and when the defense is running at them, they don't then study the playbook and figure out where to throw the ball. No, they spend all week 
learning the plays and knowing exactly where to go and when so that when they're in the game, they can respond really quickly. And that's what role playing and practicing is for a salesperson in the same way that a professional athlete will practice and run drills all week leading up to the game. A professional sales rep should be running drills and practicing and role playing as they're warming up and preparing for making calls and talking to prospects. So you have a few different options on practicing and role playing. And the first is that you can practice with yourself. Just talk to yourself in a mirror, talk to yourself in a room, go through your objections list and actually say out loud your objection responses. Now, the good thing about this option is that it's free. You can do it as much as you want, whenever you want, because the only thing you need is you and your list of objections and objection responses. Now, the downside to this option is that it might feel a little weird practicing by yourself and you might find excuses not to do it because you're lazy or because it feels awkward. And the quality of the role playing might not be as great when you're by yourself. You're not gonna have feedback from someone else. You're not gonna have that dynamic exchange of by being surprised with different directions that the practice or the role play could go. So definitely a good cheap option that you can do whenever you want, but the quality is not gonna be as good as some of the other options. Your next option for role playing your objections is to practice with a peer. So this would be grabbing a colleague that you work with, maybe someone that works for the same company and getting them to practice with you. This can be really effective because you're gonna have the opportunity to talk through those objection responses and really practice and work through and learn those objection responses. So this can be really productive. The downside to practicing with a peer is a couple things. First of all, it can feel a little awkward practicing with a peer because when you're practicing objections, you're gonna maybe show some vulnerability in terms of your lack of experience or preparedness and you might feel embarrassed showing that to one of your peers. And the other person who is you're practicing with might feel uncomfortable as well because they're having to see you in a more vulnerable state. So practicing with a peer can be kind of uncomfortable and it can also be a hit on the productivity for the company because if you ask a peer to practice with you, you're taking them away from being productive. Certainly role playing is extremely productive for you and is gonna help you with your sales results. But when you take another person away from their job in order for you to improve, it can be a little costly for the organization. Another option you have is certainly you could hire a coach to role play your objections with and to practice your sales pitch with. And this can be really productive because you're actually going to be getting in that practice and learning your pitch and learning your objection responses. And most likely you're going to be getting incredible feedback from your coach and really go to the next level. The only downside with practicing with a coach is that there definitely is a cost with it and that cost could add up to be fairly expensive. You could say that there's a return on that investment by spending that money with a coach, you're going to sell more and it's going to pay for itself. But when you're just looking at the hard dollar cost, this is one of the more costly options for role playing your objections. And a last option that I want to share with you for role playing your objections is actually a tool that we sell at Sales Scripter called Sales Simulator, which is an AI based sales simulation tool that you can use to practice your objections. And you can practice your objections with sort of an AI type of version of a prospect that uses a Siri or Alexa like technology that will talk with and provide a simulated conversation with a prospect. And let me just demonstrate this to show you what this looks like. There are three different scenarios that you can role play. You can basically role play a prospect conversation. You can role play a call that it gets answered by a gatekeeper. And then you can just very directly jump right into role playing objections. And since we're talking about objections here, I'll show you this objections role play. So if I click this, the AI version of a prospect will just start out by giving me an objection. We already use someone today. Okay. Uh, who are you guys using? We purchased from Logic Link. Oh, and how's everything going? It could be easier to use. Oh, well, that's why I'm reaching out. I I'd love to talk to you about what is not easy. Are you available for a brief call? Possibly. And I'm just going to close that. We could continue on with that role play, but I just want to show you jumping into a different objection. I am not the right person. Okay, do you know who I should speak with? May I ask what this call is in regards to? Just send me your information. 
I certainly can do that. Uh, so I know exactly what to send you. Do you mind if I ask, are you guys using any type of sales script or sales methodology? Not yet. Oh, I see. Uh, is that something that you've looked at in the past? Yes. And what options were did you consider in that area? We looked at other options about six months ago. Okay. Well, maybe this is a good time to check back in. Are you available for a brief call? Okay, sure. There are less expensive options. Oh, I see. Uh, what other guy? What other options are you guys considering? We looked at other options about six months ago. Okay. Uh, who were you looking closely at? We looked at Bubble Tech. Oh, I see. And what did you like about them? Is this a sales call? Well, the reason for my call is I work with inside sales managers and help them to improve their onboarding of new reps. Okay. Now, the great news is that if you want to test out the sales simulator, you can do that at no cost with our seven day trial. And you can sign up for that on our website or you can download our app from the app store and test it out for seven days through there. That's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful to you and gives you some ideas for how to role play your objections. If you did find this helpful and you want to return the favor, very easy for you to do. All you have to do is like, comment, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Any of those help us and none of those cost you anything for being here. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.